Right guys, it's time for the big one. It's time for the video that you've been waiting for and I've been asked for more than any other. And that is Etsy SEO in 10 minutes. So how to do your Etsy SEO in 10 minutes. No messing around with E-Rank, Marmalade, Allura, Cell Samurai, any of those tools. No need to do that. Let's get into it. I'll show you how it's done. First thing I want to point out is that what SEO does is makes you eligible eligible to be ranked we're not talking about seo ranking your items here that's rubbish seo makes you available or eligible to be ranked and the more keywords that you have in your title and tags the more possibilities you have to be ranked by etsy not with seo of course not as some of you know ranking is with quality score that's what ranks your products what we're talking about today seo in 10 minutes is to make you available or eligible to then be ranked by quality score so we want as much variety and as many different keywords as possible so that's the first thing to understand seo makes you eligible to be ranked so now we need to understand the five places that Etsy uses for SEO when it's analyzing your listing. And I'm gonna be giving you an example of how to do this SEO work. So I'm not just gonna tell you how to do it without an example. We're gonna be using my amazing funny men's t-shirt there to do the SEO example today. But let's go through the five places Etsy looks to find your keywords and we're gonna explain the fifth one in a bit more detail and I'll give you some information that you don't know about this. So. Number one, the first place Etsy looks is your titles, your product titles. No surprise, make sure you use all your title space, fully describe the item that you're selling. Very straightforward. Number two, tags. Etsy looks to your tags to find keywords relevant to the item and it will match with your titles. Number three, attributes. So the product attributes, the ones that you select in the drop-down fields, Etsy will also look to those for SEO, for matches, for keywords. Number four, categories. So Etsy uses your product category as well to match for keywords. No surprises there. Number five, a lot of you will know this, which is descriptions. So Etsy two or three months ago announced that we're using, hey guys, we're using product descriptions for SEO. Great, but what they didn't tell you is more important than what they did tell you. So what they told you was that they were using product descriptions, but what they didn't tell you was that overwhelmingly, and I mean over 99% of all products, won't be using descriptions for SEO at all. Because Etsy can't catalog almost 100 million products with descriptions. They can only catalogue high volume sellers, best sellers, items that are doing really well. This is the bit they didn't tell you. You can test this. I'm not making this up. Put a random keyword, I'll use a red pen, a random keyword like C A G B Y Z, <laughs> whatever that means, I don't know. Put a keyword like that into your description. Wait for two days, a week, two weeks. Keep searching for that product using that keyword in the search bar. I guarantee you, you won't find it. That's because Etsy can't catalog the item. It can only do it on best sellers and high volume sellers. And they go into a description index. So if you do have a high volume selling item, a best seller, it's likely that your description will get used for SEO purposes and it will take a bit of time to go into the description index. That is what Etsy meant when they were talking about product descriptions. So as you know with Etsy, they often leave out more important information than they tell you. What I'm getting at here is I don't want you to waste too much time um, messing around with your description. Have I got, oh, have I got everything in the first line? Does it make sense? Don't waste your time. It's not gonna get used. Concentrate on the other parts, which are much more important. So now you need to understand how to actually do the SEO work. And it's really, really straightforward. So this is what you do, get, your listing like this so you can see it this is my men's funny t-shirt it says don't look on it with a pair of eyes with red eyeballs and um, that's my men's funny t-shirt this is how you SEO it so draw a line down the middle of your page 
or your document, whatever it is. And on the right hand side, you're going to have anchor keywords. So anchor keywords are what the item is. So simple. Anchor keywords are what the item is. So in the case of my men's funny t-shirt, it's a T space shirt. It's a t-shirt, all one word. It's a T and it's a top. Easy. Four anchor keywords. Now, on the left hand side, you have descriptive keywords. Ooh, descriptive. So these keywords describe the item. Describe item. All descriptive keywords are in red, all anchor keywords are in green. Now I've got a, um, a notepad here with some keywords in it because they're quite difficult to remember them all but you'll see that when you brainstorm your keywords it's, it's very straightforward to do. So these are the descriptive keywords for this funny t-shirt. Men's, man, funny, anxiety, <laughs> nervous, loose fit, crew neck, graphic, humour, quote, silly, and then of course, don't look. So to get these keywords, you just literally look at the item that you're, that you're SEOing and take the aesthetics from it. So it's a man's t-shirt, oh, there's another keyword we can use, loose fit. So it's man's, men, it's funny, it's about anxiety, nervous, don't look at me and so on. It's a loose fit, it's got a crew neck, it's a graphic tee because it's got a picture on, it's funny, it's humour, it's a silly quote, and it's loose fit, it's a loose fit t-shirt. So practice that, sit and accurately describe, brainstorm all the keywords. Also, if you want help with those keywords, you can just use Etsy Auto Suggest. So see, type in your, your, your product into the Etsy search bar and see what keywords are coming up. So you could put, uh, T-shirt A, and then it will give you all the keywords with A, T-shirt B, T-shirt C, and so on, or funny T-shirt A, and so on. So that can help you um, get keywords, but it's pretty easy once you get going with this to brainstorm your keywords. So now that you've got your um, descriptive keywords and your anchor keywords, all you have to do is arrange them. So now all you've got to do is arrange them on the board. So I'll just move this black line up a bit so we've got more space like that. Okay, so here we go. What we can do is go men's funny anxiety and then t-shirt, the anchor. See? Boom. Men's funny anxiety t-shirt. Good. Next one. Let's have a look what we've got here. So, loose fit, loose fit, nervous, humour, t-shirt, all one word. See? Again, descriptive, descriptive, anchor. Descriptive, 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 anchor. That's how you do this. It's so simple. Descriptive on the left, anchor on the right. There's no mystery here, just follow this process. Let's do one more, so let's have a look. And um, what have we got? So, silly quote, scared T. I didn't put scared in, but I just thought of it because I thought of anxiety and nervous, scared T, and then man, actually no, T, <laughs> T was the anchor, 
What am I doing here? God. So he's scared. T. See? So this is what you're doing here. It's all dead simple. Red, descriptive, anchor. Descriptive, 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 anchor. Use all the title space. And that is how you construct a product title. Very straightforward. Look, notice I haven't used all the words. There's more words in there I can use. I can make another type, another set of descriptors, an anchor. That's all you've got to do for your product title. Now, let's do the tags. So tags are next. Let's go. So tags. Tags are done differently. So the product title, you just describe the product. Fully describe the product in the title. In the tags, we do something different. This is what we do. We do who, what, where, when, and why. So, who's using the item? What are they doing with the item? Where are they using the item? When are they using the item? And why are they using the item? So all you've got to do for your tags is answer these five questions and you'll have plenty of tags for your product. It'll take a bit of practice. None of this comes easy. Take you a couple of weeks of doing it, but you'll get it locked down very, very quickly. So let's have a look. I've got my notepad here because I can't remember them all off the top of my head. So who would be son, dad, father, Student, what else have we got? Brother, cousin, and I also put gift for. I'll, I'll explain the gift for a bit in a minute. So, what? What are they doing? So, they could be drinking, wedding going to a wedding or a wedding reception, maybe not a wedding, wedding reception. And even if it was a wedding reception, they'd have to rip their shirt off, I'd say, to expose the t-shirt a little bit later. Drinking, wedding, um, stag do, I think in the US they call them bucks party, stag do, bucks party. So where, where would they be going? They could be going to a party, a club, um, bar, restaurant, Oh, terrible, right? Uh, college, university, those crazy kids learning in style, right? Um, when? So, birthday, anniversary, birthday, anniversary, Christmas. Xmas and why they want to make a statement so they want to make a statement they want to be trendy okay they want to be eye-catching and cool so who what where when why you can see now clearly that all these keywords are talking about my don't look t-shirt. That's the goal here. They're all talking about different aspects of who's going to be using it, what they're doing, where they're going to go, when and why. This is targeting my t-shirt very well. So what I'd like you to do in your tags is use two tags, two words per tag, use all 13, use all 13 uh, tag boxes. That will give you 26 keywords just in your tags. Along with your titles, you should be looking at something like, if I can just get it in here, 35, 35 to 40 keywords just on one listing. Do you see what we're doing here? Targeting the item, lots of different ways, lots of different combinations of words to be found. That's how you do SEO on Etsy. So to conclude, let's go through the highlights of this video again. These are the things you need to take away from this video and remember, let's do it. Eight points. Number one, 10 minutes 
per listing. Remember, when you start this, it'll probably take you half an hour. You'll be like, Nick, I can't do it, it takes 30 minutes. Yeah, of course it will. Give yourself some time. After a week or two, you'll be down to 10 minutes of listing. No problem at all. Number two, do not repeat keywords. Don't repeat keywords. The more repeating you do in your keywords, the less product placement pools, the less, less opportunity or eligibility you will have to then be ranked. Don't repeat your keywords. Number three, descriptive and anchor. Remember, line down the middle of the page or your document, descriptive keywords in red on the left, anchor keywords on, on, uh, on the right hand side in green, and then construct your titles. Easy, straightforward. Number four, made a bit of a mess of that one, but what the hell. Make sure you use all product title space. Etsy seller handbook, loads of people on YouTube all say, you know, don't use all the title space. Google prefers short titles. No, use all your product title space. Make yourself eligible to be ranked for more customer searches. All product title space. Number five, use all 13 tags. Use all 13 tags and two words per tag. That guarantees you 26 words extra. Just get into the habit. 13 tags, two words per tag. Next one. Remember, when you do your tags, it's who, what, where, when, and why. So who's using the item? What are they doing with it? Where are they? When are they using the item and why? So straightforward. Product title. Describe the item. Just do that. Describe the item. Listing tags. Answer those questions. Who, what, where, when, why. As in the example I just gave you. It's easy. There's nothing difficult about this. Okay. Very important one. Image alt tags. So, image alt tags. If you, if you press edit on your listing and then hover over the picture, you'll get a little pen icon, which is basically where you can add SEO for Google. So you can SEO your t-shirt for Google. But I urge you to only do this when you're selling. You need to prove to Etsy that your shop can sell from inside Etsy to the almost 100 million customers that Etsy has. You want to be able to do that and prove that before you bring in Google traffic. Because when you make sales from Google traffic, and no one would have told you this before, you get no quality score for any of those sales made from Google. So you can effectively kill your Etsy store with kindness from sales from Google. You don't get any visibility rewards. Your items don't go up in search. So prove that your store can sell. If you want a marker for this, how, or how many sales, one sale a day. If you're doing a sale a day, every day, day in, day out, no problem, start using image alt tags. Your store will support it because you're making organic sales inside Etsy. But when you're new, when you're just starting, don't use image alt tag. Wait until your store is more successful to do that. And the last point, this is the one that you know, some of you, I always go on about. SEO does not rank items. I'm the only guy saying this. Everyone else is going to follow me, I guarantee you, in the next six to 12 months. SEO does not rank your items. So what SEO does is make you eligible to be ranked, as I've been saying. It makes your products available to then be selected by the algorithm to rank using quality score, which is Etsy's trust and visibility system. SEO is never going to rank anything. It's just words. And, you know, there is so much confusion around this. It's just words. Etsy puts its trust in money, not words. Kind of obvious when you think about it, isn't it? So make sure you understand that SEO doesn't rank your items on Etsy. So there we go. That's Etsy SEO in 10 minutes. There's no mystery. Keep it simple. Keep it straightforward. Follow my guide. You won't go far wrong. Leave me a comment in the comments. Let me know what you thought of this. Does this help you? Does this make this make sense to you? Let me know. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next week. In the next week, in the next one.